the Sky DVG-1. Let's check it out. Sky's been in business since 2003, making really budget-friendly handguns right here in the USA. Typically, they have a 10-round magazine, they're fairly lightweight, they're easy to use, easy to conceal for a concealed carry. But one of the things that I've had a problem with over the years with the Sky is the trigger pull. And with their hammer-fired pistols, uh, it just had a long, heavy trigger pull. It was still reliable, I mean, it still did the job, but the trigger pull, again, was really long. With the DVG, this is their striker fire pistol, and the trigger is vastly improved. Now, we were introduced to the Sky DVG-1 through GetZone.com with their holiday gift guide. And guys, when I went to pick it up from a local gun shop, I was like, oh, it's a Sky. When I took it out to the range with this trigger, I was like, wow, that's pretty impressive. The Sky DVG-1. Uh, this is a huge upgrade to me from the original Sky pistols. Uh, they still make the CPX-2, but it is an internal hammer-fired pistol. This is their striker-fired pistol. One of the things about the Sky traditionally is the trigger pull has been fairly long and heavy. Uh, with the new Sky DVG, uh, you have a flat face trigger and it makes it really smooth with the striker fire. Now let's go ahead and drop our 10 plus one magazine. Check to make sure the gun is unloaded. Uh, you do get two magazines and they do have finger extensions or pinky extensions on the grip. And speaking of grip, it has been reduced down below what the CPX2 is. Gives you a little better gripping surface. And one of the things about this pistol is that it's very comparable to a lot of the micro 9mm that are coming out right now with that 10 round capacity. Now we wanted to bring out one of the most popular concealed carry pieces on the market. Just kind of compare it with size. Uh, both are 10 round. You can see that the Sky is just a little bit thicker more than anything. Uh, just a touch longer. Then we have a little bit of an extension here, but a lot of that has to do with the finger groove. So uh, it's a little thicker, just a touch bigger, but honestly, not that much difference. And you have 10 plus one and 10 plus one. And you have about twice the price between the SIG and the Sky DVG-1. Now guys, the trigger to me is the biggest upgrade for this pistol. With the flat face, the geometry makes it more natural to pull straight back. So we have a little bit of take up, we have a little bit of resistance, and then we have a nice break. Reset, right there. Uh, guys, that is a huge improvement over the original, uh, and it's one of the things that I've never really liked about the early Sky Pistols. But with this new design, it really makes a world of difference. All right, let's check the trigger pull weight with our Lyman trigger gauge from Brown Ales. Four pounds, 4.9 ounces. Four pounds, 9.8 ounces. That is a nice trigger weight. Not too heavy, not too light, and it really allows for better accuracy. We have front and rear cocking serrations, and we also have a beautiful black nitride slide. Uh, the gun itself, in fact, when I first pulled this out of the box, I was like, wow, <laughs> I really like the upgrades they've made. It does have a three inch barrel, and we have the Roebuck quad lock. Uh, that is where four points of contact come between the barrel and the slide to make this a very secure fit and should lend to better accuracy. 
and Joe Roebuck is the founder of Sky. The texturing on here is nice. Uh, there's some texturing pads on the back, and of course you have your finger grooves on the front. So it gives it a good grip on the gun. I mean, it's a good solid grip. A little bit thicker it feels than a lot of the Micro 9s that are out there, but yet still got a good feel to it. And it shoots more like a full-size firearm because of this little lip on the magazine. And the weight on the Sky DVG-1, 17.6 ounces. The sights on the Sky come with a, just a white three-dot sight. They are polymer, but they are compatible with the Glock 42 and 43. We ended up installing some Ameriglows on here, and it came with the gift guide from GetZone.com. And these are tritium, uh, and the front bead is has a orange outline, which really makes a big difference. Uh, but these are fairly easy to install. These are the Troopers, and they do fit, again, the Glock 43 and 42, and they'll fit the Sky DVG. And these sights are just excellent, and so it really improved the shooting even more so with those night sights. Makes this more of a self-defense gun for low light. It has a little bit of a higher bore axis, but man, those Ameriglow sights really look good on here. I want to thank Fioki for sponsoring the ammo, all made right here in the USA, one of the largest suppliers of ammunition in the country. And guys, it's nice to have this extra ammo to be able to really test these pistols out. And this Maglula, this is awesome. Guys, taking the Sky DVG-1 out to the range, uh, the number one thing was the trigger. <laughs> it's just so vastly improved. And so when I got those first shots off, I was really impressed. I mean, for the money that you're paying for these, I think this is an excellent choice. It's fairly small, it's lightweight, it's concealable, and really the muzzle flip was very manageable. Uh, you know, with 10 plus one, you have a pretty good capacity. And with all these Micro 9s that are out on the market, this comes in at a much more reasonable price. And again, made right here in the USA. Uh, we didn't have any malfunctions. I mean, it just ran. It's very pointable. It's got a fairly ample grip to it with the finger groove, so you feel like you've got a good purchase on it. Plus, with that magazine extension, uh, you know, it gives you a full-size feel for the firearm, and yet it is a small concealable package. Now for disassembly, we've already got the magazine removed. Let's check the chamber and it's empty. Uh, first thing you do is bring it back to slide lock. Right here is your takedown lever. So we're just gonna pull it out. And it actually comes all the way out. Now we're gonna drop our slide and then you wanna pull the trigger. And then the slide comes off. We have a dual recoil spring. This is gonna help with recoil or felt recoil. And then we have our three inch barrel. Looks like it's either stainless or nickel plated. And it's just a really slick barrel. And then of course you have your slide. Inside we have some milling right here. You see your firing pin safety. Just a striker fire system. Here with the lower we have rails that run all along the side. And that's typically unusual for your striker fire pistols. Usually it's just a small little rail section in the front and back. So it's gonna give you a fairly smooth action on the rails. Now with this kind of setup, it almost looks like a hammer-fired pistol. But what this does is brings back your striker and then it releases it instead of the hammer going forward and activating your firing pin. And for reassembly, we're just gonna go in reverse order. Drop in your barrel, your recoil spring and guide rod. We're gonna bring it back over our slide. Go ahead and put it into slide lock. Now you want to make sure that your barrel, it'll tend to go back like that. You want to make sure it's brought up here where you're going to put your takedown pin in the right spot with your barrel. Lock it down, drop it, and you're good to go. And guys, while the MSRP is $299, uh, you know, usually it's your local gun shop and market price can be considerably less. Pros and cons of the DVG-1. To me, as far as comparing it to the CPX-2, uh, this is a vast improvement. Uh, it is a striker fire pistol, so it's just got a more consistent trigger pull, 
And I mean, at about four and a half pounds and a little less, it's not bad at all. And then with this flat face trigger, uh, to me, it's a vast improvement over the curved trigger with the hammer fire and almost a nine pound trigger pull. It's one of the things about the original skies that I just wasn't a big fan about. Um, I'd really like to see good solid firearms coming in that people can afford that are really on a serious budget. And so a lot of times, you know, for us guys who have a lot of different choices, uh, you know, you may not pick a Sky. But for someone, in fact, I have a good friend of mine. That's what she carries, a Sky. And she loves it. And it's the original version. Uh, this would be a great upgrade for her. But the price is right. I think these retail for $299. So it's a good price. Uh, you can get it with an optic already installed. And I think they're $399. So it comes in at a good budget price that people that really can't afford a self-defense firearm probably need it more than those who can afford a number of firearms. I mean, that's one of the, the big appeals of the Sky. And the nitride finish on here, guys, uh, is really well done. I love nitride. It gives it such a beautiful finish. Front and rear cocking serrations, you know, they have reduced the grip a little bit. And then the sights being compatible with your Glock 43 and 42. That gives you a lot of choices with this gun if you want to put night sights on it. Now, one thing that I'm, I'm not a big fan of is when you take it down, I really don't like to remove the pin because pins can get lost. Um, and, it, and that's not really a major thing, but it is something that I would rather not see. Uh, I love that it holds open on the last round. It doesn't have an accessory rail, which is somewhat of a con, but yet, you know, a lot of people don't use those. Now, one thing we noticed when we were first at the range, uh, when you take the magazine, of course, it slides right in, but you can see it'll catch on the magazine release. And so the more we shot it, the less that happened. But if it goes at any angle toward the back, it can do that. Going straight up, it's no problem. And again, the more we used it, the less that we seem to have any issues with it. Uh, the feel of the gun, I mean, it's got a good feel to it. And it's really comparable to a lot of the Micro 9s that are out on the market as far as size and mag capacity. Uh, it's a very solid lockup, and with the Roebuck quad lock, I mean, it does. It's got a good solid feel to it. The rails are longer, and I think it gives it a little more stability on the rail system. Shooting it, we really enjoyed it. We didn't have any malfunctions. Uh, it just shot, and it shot well. So while personally, you know, I have the SIG P365, and I can afford it. But for those who can't, that are looking for a really good, solid, budget-priced 9mm with 10 plus 1, uh, I think that the Sky DVG is an excellent choice. The CPX, again, really heavy trigger pull. I, I don't really recommend it. But with this Sky, I think these are some huge upgrades. And they do have a lifetime warranty on these pistols, and the company is right here in the USA. So guys, if you're looking for something for self-defense and you're on a budget, uh, the Sky DVG-1 is an excellent choice. 10-round magazine, the Striker Fire trigger pull is just much more improved to me than their original CPX line. Also, with the black nitride slide, a little bit of a thinner grip. Uh, it gives you a full-size grip for the pistol, and yet it is fairly concealable. Again, they've been around since 2003, and they're just excellent guns. And also, with the upgrades that you can make, with the sight system putting on those glock 42 or 43 type sights it just makes this a very appealing firearm again especially for those on a budget or maybe you want something that's not too expensive that you can keep in your vehicle uh, really i was pretty impressed with the dvg and again we appreciate sky for sending the dvg1 for this review and also again to get zone for putting all this together Get Zone is a Second Amendment friendly video platform, and Lord knows we need it. Rubber Dummies is one of the best training tools on the market, and you get a 10% discount using Suit00 when you click the link down in the description. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic.
Now, speaking of the trigger, okay, well, let's go ahead and dump it down, dear baby. The sky's the limit. And the weight on the Sky DVG1. Okay, stop. The weight on the Sky P365. Sky's been making pistols. How long have they been making pistols? I don't know. Excuse me while I kiss the sky. Well, I'm not gonna kiss it, but maybe Jimi Hendrix would. 